This video will give you some hints and tips which will help you correctly install the Grundfos Solo Lift 2. This video should be viewed in collaboration with reading the installation instructions that are in the pack and refer to this as you go along. Before you start, make sure all building regulations are complied with. You may want to check with your local planning office. In particular, check if a vent is required. Be aware that the unit requires an electrical connection. This should be installed by a qualified electrician. When planning the installation, make sure you have all the necessary pipes, connections and tools ready. Identify where the soil stack that you should connect to is located. If the Solo Lift 2 is a replacement for an existing product where the outlet to the soil stack is already installed but on the other side of the outlet to the Solo Lift 2, then the extension hose kit, part number 97772316, will be required. Check to make sure the area is clean, dry, there's no debris on the floor and that there are no other health and safety issues. You'll need the following tools. Hacksaw, screwdriver, spirit level, sharp knife, ruler and a drill. During installation be careful not to damage the unit or connecting pipes. Apply a gentle force and do not use a hammer as this can easily cause damage or breakages. A helpful tip is when installing parts with rubber seals use a little soapy water to assist. Before installation check the contents of the box is complete. Check that the floor is level and even. Decide on the position for the solar lift and toilet and allow easy access for post-installation maintenance. Remember, to access the internal parts of the solar lift too, you do not need to remove the toilet pan. Install the waste pipe from the sink, ensuring the pipe has a fall of at least 1%. Remove the end cap with a slight anti-clockwise twist and gently pull. To allow the sink waste pipe to connect, you'll need to cut out the blank entry in the cap with a sharp knife. Be careful not to damage the delicate non-return valve or your fingers. With the cutout complete, refit the cap and check the operation of the non-return valve. Under no circumstances use a hammer to cut out the blank, otherwise you may damage the non-return valve. The inlet pipe cover allows for some flexibility. Turn the connector to the correct orientation to allow the pipe the best possible position for entry. Next, fit the cover over the valve, but remember to tighten the Jubilee clip before the unit is put in place, as you'll be unable to adjust this later. Install the outlet pipes securely, ensuring that you use the correct bends and necessary fall, and connect to the soil stack. Please make sure you refer to your manual for recommendation for bends, distances and fall of the discharge pipe. The Solo Lift 2 outlet connection consists of these components. The unit allows for the outlet to be positioned either to the side of the unit or to the top to suit your installation. Insert the blank end cap into the entry you do not want to use. Again, use a little soapy water if it's hard to push the cap in. Click in the outlet connector check to make sure the non-return valve is working. Again, use soapy water if needed. Cut out the appropriate blank on the plastic cover using a sharp knife, do not use a hammer, and replace the cover. Push on the outlet connection elbow, again using soapy water if required. Tighten the Jubilee clip and pull over the secondary seal cover. Connect the pipes to the unit and remember to fit the drain plug. Secure the unit to the floor with the fixings provided. These simply slide into place on either side of the unit. Then screw them to the floor. Don't forget to lubricate the pan connector to allow the WC to fit easier. Reposition the WC and cistern. Pull the pan outlet over the outlet pipe of the toilet pan and secure with a Jubilee clip. When the toilet pan is installed with the Solar Lift 2, there may be a gap behind the cistern. If required, put a batten behind the cistern to help support it. Apply the user reminder stickers so they remain visible for the user. Fix the WC to the floor. 
Connect the electrical supply to a suitable outlet and this should be done by a suitably qualified person, remembering to follow all local electrical regulations.